Good morning, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. We are going to return the Fire Seed to the Fire Palace on this video. Fight a few bosses on the way, maybe. Strangely enough, we still have our Ice Saber that was bestowed on us by Mr. Santa Claus. Santa Claus himself. That was some pretty good damage. Huh. Surprising that the ice doesn't melt in this desert heat. But alas. Uh, yeah, not, not a whole lot to say here. I, I don't really like turning enemies into snowmen that much. Because you can't actually hurt them while they're snowmen. You have to wait for them to thaw out before you can do any more damage. I guess it's the same when you're on fire, though, so... But at least when you're on fire, you... You dumbass, get over here. Thank you. Okay. Like I said, at least when you're on fire, though, you do lose HP while you're on fire. And one would assume, one would think so, because it hurts to be on fire, or so I've heard. Okay, Ethan's lost his Ice Saber, now we just have to get rid of it from the rest of us here. Eventually it does run out, I'm not sure if it's on a timer, or if it's like how many enemies you hit, or something like that. You don't have to be too high of a level to survive in here, and there's actually a great grinding spot later on. Thanks to 900 Run Yoshi. It's probably the best one I've seen <clears throat> relative to this point in the game. End of the line! Now, if you come here before you go to Ice Country, you'll be stuck in this room with no magic to move on. Now, you could actually go to Ice Country, get Salamando, and then come back here before you go to the Ice Palace, progress in here, beat the boss, but then there'd just be no seed in the room, so you'd have to go find out where it went. I think I've actually done that a few times. Or like one time, I mean, one of the first times I played, probably. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure there was at least one time I went in the room and saw that, hey, there was no seed, it must have been stolen, and all that stuff. Mm. Well, this is not working out too well. Who still... Oh, 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 I see. Michelle still has Ice Saber. Oh, well. Yeah, these guys can just really, I'm telling you, it can be annoying. It's like, get away, you clone freak! Huh. Not that they're really clones or anything, I'm just saying. You know, there's actually a couple of monsters later in the game called Shapeshifters, and that's the form they take. They take the form of those slime, those blobs. It'd be funny if they shifted into a sh into your shape so that you're like you were fighting yourself, but... I'm just checking every room here to make sure, because I don't know. Sometimes you find orbs in these places. Usually if you miss an orb, then whatever the next chest is that has that kind of orb you're looking for, it will actually contain two of them. Like, you'll open the chest, it'll give you the orb, and the chest will still be there, and you can open it again. Get the second one. Just to kind of catch things up, you know? Whack, 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 just listen to it. Bang, bang, bang. But they just don't die. You know, I actually just recently, um... I actually downloaded a color swap. Or something. I don't, I don't know what, it was some kind of patch for this game. And it actually changes the colors around. It's not drastically or anything, but I was looking at some of it and it looks kind of cool, so I might try that. Maybe in the next video I'll apply it again and see if I can just see what a difference it makes. Anyway, we got a crystal here. Level 1 fireball. You don't have to have it built up to any specific level for it to work. Even level 0 will still work on the crystal, so don't worry about that if you're concerned or anything. Here, we're coming up on that grinding spot. <clears throat> the famous 900 Red Yoshi grinding spot. This is it right here. Now, I never noticed this, because usually I go to the next room, I don't come back. And by the time I come back, all the monsters are cleared out since I finished the palace. Here we go. This might not actually be an orb. No, it's a thousand GP. Well, that's fine, I'll take that too. Yeah, but basically there's a flight of stairs down here, and if you go up and then you come back down, these three guys, these Chobin Hoods, or not Chobin Hoods, but Robin Foot, will respawn here. Just like that. So you can come up here and just whack these three guys, and it's like, it's really a piece of cake the way they're positioned. You can just get them all right away. Walk out of the room, come back, and just do it again and again. 
even just doing it that one time, somebody gained a level there. I don't know who that was. Okay, this room's kind of crowded, but... But there are good things waiting to reward you for that crowdedness. Out of my way. Let's see what we got. We got boss gods. We got them boss gods. Oh, axe is orb. Okay. We can do that. I'm not gonna bother fighting these guys. No. Well, I don't know. They seem to be following me around. This is creepy. There's some more of these crevices here that might actually be doors. It's always worth it to check. You know what? Screw you guys. Ugh! That's what I like to see. So let's move on, shall we? This is taking too long. Occasionally they'll slip one in, they'll pull a fast one on you, and they'll slip in a fire elemental or an ice elemental. And they're really hard to tell apart, but you know, sometimes you'll hit them and it'll do like no damage. And then you realize, oh, it's an ice elemental, so you gotta use fire on it. But it's like they do that in the crystal forest. I do believe there is a fire elemental floating around in there. I've seen it! I've seen it! <laughs> okay, enough. I would ask if you could name that movie, but I'll probably just put it in the annotations anyway. Uh, are we at the boss yet? We got some whip orb, uh, some whip action here. This can get a little glitchy with these whips. Basically, once once it pulls all three of your characters into the same spot, and it'll lock the screen on a certain spot, you can usually tell that you're ready to make the motion, then you whip them, and it'll go across. Anyway, freeze magic will work on this crystal here, so we're gonna do that. And all the torches that these two down here light up, so you step in between them, and voila! We're at the boss now. Say hello! Right weapons here. We're gonna try some charge weapon shots. We're gonna get rid of this guy as soon as we can. This guy has a couple of moves that can do some serious damage to you, so just keep an eye on your HP. You don't let it get below 100. You should be okay. Earth slide level 7. Oh, wow, shit. <laughs> I was just about to say that's nothing to worry about, but you know, apparently it is. Better heal his ass up. Oh, lucky thing we used the spell when we did. That negated the effect of his. If you use it at just the right time, it'll completely... It'll just won't be, the offensive spell won't have an effect at all, is what I mean. That's what I mean. Unfortunately, the same is true for the enemies, so... Again, if you're fighting an enemy that uses Cure Water, you're less likely to hit with magic, because you can always use the Cure Water and interrupt your spell. They screw everything up. Yeah, when he gets mad, he'll turn red like that. And his offense gets even worse, so stay away. The range on that level 4 attack is actually a lot longer than it seems like it would be, so... You can, you can pretty much attack him from halfway across the screen and you'll be okay. There you go. Man, he's body slamming that sprite. This is savage. The brutality of it. I don't know how much more he can take. It's a weird thing. I mean, I, you know, I actually don't want my nieces to see Spider-Man 3 because of that scene. Because it's just so... Ugh, it's just savage, man. It, it's like all the Spider-Man fans come up saying that Venom is like the coolest villain, but the way they portrayed him in the movie, he totally, he's a cheapskate fighter. It's like he fights dirty. It's like three different times in the movie, he locks up Spider-Man so he can't defend himself and then just starts hitting him, you know, it's like... Well, that's not fair, you know. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my AC just clicked on. I don't know if you could hear that, but that was really loud to me just now. Okay, you guys, you want to wake up here? Sprite's getting worried. He doesn't want to do this by himself. Okay, here we go. He's dead. He's dead. Something about the word dead. It's just it's such a happy sounding word sometimes if you use if the right person is saying it, like Tyler Durden when he tells that guy 
if you're not on your way to becoming a veterinarian in six months, you'll be dead. And he says the word dead so perfectly. Way to go. That's another one of those things I don't expect anybody to understand, but... Alright, 26. Didn't I just gain a level? Oh well, I don't know, who cares, right? So, um... Wait a minute, what's going on here? Uh, did I just freeze? <laughs> 